Hi there, F-150 owners. I wanna talk about this parasitic draw issue that quite a few people are seeing on their trucks. And a lot of people are talking about the ambient light circuit being the problem or that ambient lighting module being the problem because they're seeing these lights stay on, right? But I don't think that the module itself is the problem. I think the module is just uh, more or less the effects of the problem. And I wanna talk a little bit about this because I had a nearly identical problem on my 2016 F-150. When Ford is cranking these things out, you have to respect the fact that it's just metal and plastic. And they're cranking them out at dozens per hour out of their assembly line. So when I first saw this problem, I had a couple different uh, troubleshooting methods that I wanted to try. And I jumped the gun a little bit because I started reading on the forums about the module. And I thought, okay, maybe it is a bad ground. Maybe it's bad firmware, bad software. And or something uh, just isn't working uh, in the logic. And that's sort of true. And I did find the resolution to this and I wanna talk about it a little bit more in depth. So with the global semiconductor shortage, I thought that maybe a module was added to this vehicle after it was built and after it left the assembly line. And maybe it wasn't in sync or in synchronization with all the other modules within the vehicle network. So I jumped the gun a little bit and I went straight, uh, used force scan. I looked at the body control module and I tried a LIN bus calibration. I started looking into the CAN bus to see if something wasn't uh, connecting right to make sure that the sleep command was being issued to all the modules on the vehicle network. I started assessing the body control module functions and looking into individual circuits that you can switch off in the logic to try and isolate uh, this problem. And you can do that. And those tools are available and accessible to anybody. You can jump on these F-150 forms. I'll post a link in the thread below. That'll take you to the Forescan master thread for this generation of vehicle. And you can use all that. It's a very powerful tool. But I sort of overlooked the problem by looking at the most complex uh, possible problem first, right? I, I jumped the gun, so to say. And this, my problem on my truck is, uh, it's actually a really simple fix and I wanna share it with everybody because it could be a problem I suspect on a lot of F-150s. So it's related to something that I had on my 2016 F-150 and it's something that I've seen from the 2015s and up. And that is when these vehicles were built, Ford enhanced to our benefit the door seals around the rear passenger door. So it's a much tighter seal, but that also causes this problem. So <laughs> I know you're wondering, how does a door seal cause parasitic battery drain, but I'll get there. So if I unlock my truck, you can hear the door locks actuate within the doors. You can see the visual feedback on the tail lamps. And when I lock the truck, the tail lights are no longer illuminated. You can hear all the door lock actuators within the doors close. But this ambient lighting system stays on, right, in the rear. And I know this is what a lot of you guys are seeing out there. So what I found, and this is really the easiest fix possible. First of all, let's lock the truck, right? The door is locked. You can hear the door lock actuators actually lock, and you can verify by looking through the window that the little door lock uh, mechanism goes down. I'm gonna unlock the truck and I'm gonna show you the fix. I'm gonna open the door, and close it extra hard, and that should solve the problem. And I'll talk about why this solves the problem. So let's lock the truck. There we go. Lighting is turned off. So what's happening is that when you close, when you lock the truck, right, and you hear the door lock actuators actuate and they're in the closed position and the tail lights uh, are no longer illuminated. We know that the lock circuit function has worked properly. Uh, but unfortunately, within these rear passenger doors from about 2015 and up, this isn't even a new problem from 2015 and up. Some of these doors are out of alignment from the factory. And so the door lock actuators actuate and that circuit works properly, but the door ajar circuit stays open. And because the door ajar circuit is staying open, 
the body control module is not sending the sleep command to the rest of the modules within the vehicle network. So I sort of jumped the gun and I tried the LIN bus calibration first, right? And that's something you can try as well. It's an easy step. It takes a few seconds and it could solve your problem. Maybe your problem's slightly different. The other thing you can do with Forescan and with uh, dealer tools, I don't think you can use IDS anymore. It has to be FRDS. You can go into the body control module and you can switch off individual relays in the logic for all the uh, slave modules. So you can actually turn off the telematics control unit if you think it's a problem. You can turn off uh, power for the SYNC 4 APIM if you think it's a problem or the ambient lighting uh, module for that matter. And that's sort of where my thought process was when I first saw this and when I first started reading through the forms. But it really is just a simple problem and you can drive around dealer lots right now, find F-150s and pick out rear doors that are slightly out of alignment. And it's really that simple, at least it was on this truck, where the door jar circuit is staying open, so the body control module is not sending out the sleep command to all the other uh, modules within the vehicle network, and that was causing those uh, ambient lighting module to stay active. I believe this is likely going to be a problem. Uh, it could also be the problem related to the guys that are having their alarms go off in the middle of the night. Uh, I think that there's a, a lot of issues that actually all kind of trace back to the rear door jar circuit staying open. So that's something, you know, it's an easy enough fix. I hope you guys can go out and try this, slam all your doors extra hard and lock it for a night and see if your parasitic battery drain issue goes away. If it is, please leave your feedback on the F-150 forms or on this YouTube video so that other owners uh, might be able to solve their parasitic battery drain issues.